In this short video, what we're going to show you is how to add forces to separate forces analytically or mathematically. Another word for analytical is mathematically. So let's take the example that we've just done, which is a 100 Newton force, which was at an angle of 30 degrees. And if we had a second force, force 2, of 10 Newtons, acting at 0 degrees horizontally to the right hand side how would we go about mathematically finding out what is the resultant of these two forces now just going back to our example before we saw that a hundred newton force acting at 30 degrees had a vertical and a horizontal component of 50 degrees and 86 degrees so what we can straight away say is that this 100 Newton force, force 1, has a vertical component of 50 degrees, which you calculated last time, and force 1 has a horizontal component of 86.6 .6 degrees, 86.6 .6 Newtons. We calculated that all in the last tutorial, so you can look at the last one if you want to have a look at how we did that. But what we notice now about forces is if we want to sum them, we can also sum their horizontal and vertical components. So if I want to sum, and this is the notation for adding, the forces which are all horizontal, they are this one here, the 86.6 Newton force, and this one over here, because it's also horizontal, plus 10, which comes out to be 96.6 Newtons. I'm also going to sum all the first forces in the vertical direction, which is this one, 50.0 Newtons, plus there is no vertical component to this force, it's only going horizontally, so 0 Newtons, which obviously comes out to be 50 Newtons. So what that shows us is that our resultant force, once we've added these two forces together, has a horizontal component of 96.6, and a vertical component of 50. Let's draw that. 96.6 .6 N and that's supposed to be a straight line, 50 newtons upwards. So my resultant force is going to be a force something like this one. Now how do we go about calculating what the magnitude or the size of that resultant is? We have to use a little bit of trig again. When we say in trigonometry, trigonometry the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of the adjacent squared plus the opposite angle squared. The hypotenuse is equal to the square root of that plus that squared. And in this case, that is equal to 96. 0.6 squared plus 50 squared. This gives us a total of 108.7 newtons. We obviously have to use our calculators a bit to work that out, but it shouldn't be too hard. You just square 96, add it to the square of 50, and then square it the answer. And that there is the magnitude of our resultant force. To calculate what this angle is, because obviously it's not at that 30 degrees, it's going to be a little bit shallower of an angle because it's going a little bit further in the right hand direction. We can use trig again. Tan of that angle is equal to, till old age, 50 divided by 96.6. And therefore, the angle is equal to 27.3 degrees. Again, a little bit of calculator work, and that'll help you figure out exactly what that angle is. So this is giving us a resultant force of 108.7 newtons at an angle of 27.3 degrees. And that is the resultant of adding force 1 with force 2, and we did this by summing their vertical and their horizontal components.